All right, you should go check out Cute Browser because it's one of the one of the best browsers out there. It's still in development. Here it is, very minimalist. I actually have a blank uh, startup page, but Cute Browser is just great. You can customize it in a lot of ways. Uh, I'm not going to go into all the basics. I just want to show you some of the cooler stuff that you can do with it. Um, just so you know, it's basically supposed to be Vim based. You're never supposed to be. I mean, you can use your mouse, but you never have to. Um, so, for example, O is you know, open the open command, you can type whatever you want and it'll search it, or you can put in a web address, however you want to do it. Um, and what you do, in order to click, you just press F, and it'll bring up little hints to all the links. And let's say I want to go to the videos, I just type HH, there we go, and the videos tab comes up. Nothing there, but you know, it still works. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty cool program. Uh, I'll link you to other videos that go over the basics, but I wanted to show you some of the like cooler stuff that you can do later on, just because it's so customizable. Um, so let's open. There are two two main config files: keys.conf and cubebrowser.conf. Uh, so cubebrowser.conf is actually really nice because by default it comes with all of this, com you know, all these comments, and it's really just them in gory detail describing every single thing that you can do with the program. And you can change all of these parameters, customize it however you want. Uh, but let me show you some of the cooler stuff. Um, so you can coin search engines. By default, you know, it's DuckDuckGo. You put in, you know, if you put something in the, o the open command, it goes to DuckDuckGo. But what you can do is you can actually coin new uh, sort of shortcuts. So for example, AW is mapped to this expression. Um, so if I open the open command and I type aw uh, whatever I type after the aw let's say I type cube browser what that does is it just takes that and plugs it in here and so it's really just searching archwiki for cube browser uh, and that's all you got to do um, so this is the, so you can sort of make your own sort of duck duck go like um, search commands uh, so I have a couple things that are actually aren't on duck duck go um, of course, you can't. You don't only have to use uh, like search engines. You can also have things where you just plug in stuff. So I have like you know different chans uh, and Twitter uh, with different commands. So let's say I want to go to let's say I want to go to four chan G. I just type in you know down here four and then G and then it you know just takes me straight uh, straight there. So I don't have to type anything else in. Same thing with Twitter, right? Let's say. Let's say I want to check what our new president is saying, right? Um, so yeah, you can just type that in. Just type in the handle, and it does the rest of the work for you. Um, so you can also coin other ones. Let's see. Uh, let's say let's say you want to go to Reddit. I don't go to Reddit. I'm too cool. But you know, uh, you can do something like HTTPS uh, Reddit dot com. Uh, what is it? R, and then you know. Uh, little blanks for the expression. So if I restart cube browser now, um, yeah. So now I can go. Let's say R uh, Unix porn and uh, look at some cool configs here. Yep. So yeah, I don't have to type in anything else. You can pretty much just customize it to whatever kind of sites you use. Um, so at this point, I don't even use the DuckDuckGo that much because a lot of the stuff I use on a daily basis is like in here. Um, okay. So that's that's the search engines. Uh, you also have aliases, so like, I don't know why I closed the browser, um, but aliases, so if you uh, type semicolon and you can type your own command, so I have like uh, YTC mapped to my YouTube channel, so I can just go straight there if I want. Um, so other cool stuff, um, so those of you who saw my Ranger video, um, you know that I have like all the stuff, like I have all the folders I use on a daily basis mapped to different key presses. Uh, so if I type uh, G D for documents, I'll go to documents. G capital D for downloads, it'll go to downloads. G P for pictures, it'll go to pictures. Uh, G W for wallpapers, L for landscapes. You know, all the all my folders are like mapped to key presses. Um, so what I did is I actually met, uh, in Cube Browser, I have. Uh, let's say I'm on like an image board. Let's go back to. Let's go back to. Why did that not work? Is the internet war not working all of a sudden? Okay, yeah, there we go. Um, so let's say I'm on like an image board or something, and I want to download a bunch of video or pictures. Um, one of the shortcuts I have set is, uh, or sort of paradigms of shortcuts, is that all of the same Ranger file uh, like folders that are mapped to different um, 
you know, key presses. I have them mapped to different um, key presses and uh, cube browser as well. So let's say, I don't know, let's say I want to download this picture. Let, uh, let's say I just want it in my home directory. Well, I could just press semicolon and H, and what that does is it does two things. It sets the download directory to home, and then it gives me hints to download stuff. So now I just press uh, JF, and that'll download straight to my uh, home directory. So yeah, there it is. Um, or you know, or you know, let's say I want to put this whatever this is in my downloads folder. So semicolon capital D, and there. Now it goes to my downloads folder. Um, and there it is. So, yeah. Um, so this way, you know, I sort all the wallpapers or other pictures I have, all the articles, all the stuff I do for classes. I don't even have to sort them. I can just automatically download them exactly to the folder I want. So that makes things super easy. Um, and there is a, let's see, there is a default download command. And in order, the Q browser is going to get confused if you're always resetting the download directory. Like, because, you know, now that I've downloaded this to the downloads folder, or let's say I download this to, like, my landscape folder or something, um, I have to reset the download directory, so I've just reset the... In the default download command, I've now uh, made it so it actually, append, you know, uh, switches it back to the downloads folder. But anyway, that's less important. So the the general idea is just that you can... Uh, the stuff you can do with this browser is pretty insane, and I've only... I mean, this helps me in what I do day on the daily basis, like a whole lot. But I guarantee you, just get this program, look at the documentation, and you're going to find some more great stuff. Uh, again, I'll link you to another video showing you more ba more of the basic stuff. But yeah, just check this out. I guarantee you, you will have a lot of fun with Q Browser. So yeah, see you next time.